hello everyone welcome to this od which we are required to so so first of all this consists of two parts the y complementary which reduces to as y double prime plus y single prime plus y which is equal to zero and we solve this by letting our y to be equal to exponential mx so that now we get our y single prime as m exponential mx we differentiate it it's twice to get m squared exponential mx then we substitute our value here so that we get m squared plus m plus one we factor out exponential mx and we equate it to zero so that now here our exponential mx can never be equal to zero meaning that m squared plus m plus one is the one which is equal to zero so to solve this quadratic equation we use quadratic formula which tells us m is equal to minus b plus or minus bracket square root of b squared minus 4ac we divide by 2a we substitute which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4 a is 1 c is 1 so that one divide by 2 times 1 which will give you 2 this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 over 2 so our m1 is equal to 1 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 1 over 2 plus or minus i over 2 root over 3 our m2 is equal to minus 1 over 2 plus or minus i root over 3 root of 3 over 3 meaning that now our y complement will be given by exponential negative x over 2 into bracket c1 sine of root 3 over 2 x plus c2 cos of root 3 over 2 of x now to get our y particular the general formula is this x v of f of d minus f prime of d v divided by f of d uh, squared so the particular case of this equation so we write it in a symbolic form f of d is equal to d squared plus d plus 1. Now, this has two parts. The part whereby this is equal to exponential x. The second part, f of d, which is equal to d squared plus d plus 1, which is equal to x sine of x. So, I start with the first case. You can call this number 1. This other one, number 2. I'm going to combine them. So, f of d so to get y particular, we are going to have exponential x over d squared plus d plus 1, which is equal to exponential x over 1 squared plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to exponential x divided by minus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to exponential x over 1. So y particular number 1 is given by exponential x the other part we have our rx as equal to x sine of x so our formula our ip is equal to x sine of x divided by d squared d squared plus d plus one minus sine of x multiplied by 2d plus 1 we are substituting divided by d squared plus d plus 1 we square then we substitute where by now we shall get x sine of x divided by 1 squared plus d plus 1 
minus sine of x into bracket 2d plus 1 divided by bracket 1 squared plus d plus 1. So when you simplify this, we shall get uh, the following. x sine of x over, this is minus 1 plus 1, which you will reduce, so you have d minus this one means you differentiate, so you have minus 2 cos of x minus sine of x divided by. Uh, here you, there is a square here I have omitted because of this. d squared. So our yp is equal to minus x cos of x. Now, d here means, or d means we integrate. So, when you integrate sine of x with respect to, to x, we are going to get minus cos of x. Then, minus 2 cos of x minus sine of x divided by minus 1. So, our yp is equal to minus x cos of x uh, plus 2 cos of x plus sine of x. So our given OD, our given OD was uh, d squared plus d plus one. Uh, remember that here plus exponential x. So our, our given y, which is equal to exponential x plus x sine of x. So it is given by y is equal to y complementary plus y particular which is equal to exponential negative x over 2 into bracket c1 sine of root 3 over x, I mean root 3 over 2 of x plus c2 cos of root 3 over 2 of x. Then uh, plus this other part here, plus exponential x, minus x cos of x plus 2 cos of x plus sine of x. So, th so that is our solution of the given OD. And thanks so much for taking your time to start with me. For more such learning, head to my YouTube channel so that we may continue learning together. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.